Am I the asshole for not making my children be quiet while my wife had an a date? Honestly, depending on the age of the children, making them be quiet if they can't understand like a, a full length exchange, you can't. Been with my wife for two years. I have two children from a previous relationship who are five and eight. Currently seven months pregnant, being married and living together for five months. It's been an, ad an, ad an adaptation for everyone. Ooh, ooh, okay. He's in a relationship with his girlfriend or with his wife, sorry, two years. She, f she gets pregnant and only two months after that, they start living together. So that's a lot of change in a very small time frame. During a relationship, even before living together, I knew my wife got the occasional headache. She takes painkiller, but says they don't help, so she usually spend the day in our bedroom and sleep. Kids are at home and wife has an headache. I'm working from home. Your hands are full. Your hands are full. I'm really sorry. You can't do all of these things at the same time if you're like, trying to actually be a good employee that day. Kids are doing what they normally do, playing. Wife texts me asking to keep them from making such noise. I was in a meeting when she texted, and so I didn't actually look at it till an hour later. Fair. Like, when you're working from home, you're still supposed to freaking work. So, that's extremely fair for him not to postpone some work he could have done a little later to just, like, be there and do his job. She's upset, but the way I see it is... It's the children's home they're playing. What am I meant to say? My wife has a headache. Go read a book. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Here's the thing, though. You could still explain that to your kid. Like, there are some moments in your life where some people around you are going to get hurt when you are just noisy. They can learn that. They are five and eight. If your excuse is that... What am I going to say? Am I going to say to my kid that sometimes they got to like try to not be noisy and piss off people around them? How bad could that be? Like, yeah, yeah. Minimum thing you could do is just say to the kid, please ju just be wary of the sound you're doing today. Try to limit it. Like, past that, I get it. You cannot punish them or, or beat them up because they are doing sound because they are playing you can maybe encourage them that day to play to some games or to something that are a little less noisy you can do that part but no out of that part like he's working he's in a meeting he's not open to go and deal with that now and then like resume its work the situation here seems seem to be like fairly onto its side i i just don't like the fact that like up till then up till then I would have been not the asshole. But here, yeah, you can go and teach your kid to try to be less noisy when someone in their vicinity actually needs it. Like, how bad would it be for them to respect others' people's needs? How much would it hurt them? Like, yes, that's exactly... I love the part that, like, my wife has a headache, go read a book. Yeah, that's exactly what you should say. Like... Up to this part, to the moment where it was like, what can I do? Like, you can tell them to go get mo less noisy activity that night. My daughter is three, and when I have a headache, I say to her, Ani, would you please <laughs> quiet down? I have a headache. And she calms down, so your kid should... Yeah, absolutely. There's no way kids are not able to listen to these kind of thing at five and eight. You don't want to deal about that. And I understand that, like, during the meeting, you are not in a position to do so. But, like, how how can you be like, no, I'm not. Yeah, not exactly. The fact that, like, even there, people are, like, not seeing the text for an hour is acceptable. That is, that is, like, up till then, freaking acceptable. She's going to be mad a little. Yeah, you got your first. Hebda, good job. Here's your two point. You are now ahead. It's kind of weird. I know. I know. I, I have nothing to say about that. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be a slow, it's going to be a chill day, dear. Uh, people are in the holiday spirit. And it's normal that people are like, uh, since, <laughs> since when? 
I mean, um, they are in the holiday spirit. They are, they are spending time with their family, and I prefer that for them. So yeah, sometimes we have a moment when we are gonna be. It's gonna be like more private heaven than a big one. Oh, we're playing a small game also today. Thing very, very shiny. We're gonna play like tiny rogues. It's a rogue like. It looks bitty. I'm gonna define it like that. Bitty as fudge. So yeah. Yeah. I have... No. I'm sorry, Hebda. It's not what I meant. Yeah. People are buzzy. It's the end of the session. Uh, for those that are uh, in college, it's the end of the school year. For the they, they are rushing for the pre-Christmas break. So a lot of homework and stuff to bring back to the teachers very quickly. And well, some some also already like went to their family or, or traveled a bit. Oh, it is extremely fair for it to be a a more calm night. For now, there's you and Kim in the chat. Oh, welcome in, my wonderful. <laughs> and 